Today is June 1st. Well, not really. I'm actually recording this early, and for all I know, you're not actually watching this on June 1st. So I don't know what the hell the day is, but it is time to talk about extreme exhibitions. That's right. In June 2021, there's lots of exciting stuff happening with the Extreme Channel. This is a monthly segment where we talk about extreme collectibles arriving and anything else exciting happening. And kind of a spoiler, I think I might hit puberty this month. As the Extreme Channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Extreme Channel. Really appreciate it. You guys love these videos. These are some of the most popular videos. If you missed the one yesterday, that is where we look at all the extreme acquisitions in the prior month. But today we're going to talk all about everything that's upcoming in the month of June 2021. But we're going to start by talking about the coldest water bottle. If you've caught my recent videos, you know that I am promoting this bitch because I love it. I think I said that right. Yeah, I love it. I do get money for promoting this to you guys, but I use it all the time. It is a cold water bottle that stays cold for 36 to 100 hours, comes in all different shapes and sizes, and honestly, it's the best one I found on the market. So if you're one of those people that always has a drink with you, make sure to check this out. You can actually win one in the link below. Also, there's a link to shop on their website where I get a kickback to help support the channel. All right, now that that's out of the way, we talk about all the upcoming exciting things with the channel. Well, specifically, there's really two things going on in the month of June. One is I'm traveling quite a bit. Believe it or not, I got to go to Florida for a week and then fly back, pick up my wife, and fly back to Florida again. So I'm going to be gone for two weeks, but I'm still going to make sure you guys get content at least every other day. And if you want to break into my house and steal some of my collectibles, please go ahead. There will be people here, and none of the boxes are here, and they have lots of guns. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And I do have cameras, so I'll be able to watch from Florida. And I'm going to bring exclusive footage of both those trips to members of the Extreme channel. If you want to know what that is, check out the join button below or the link in the description. They get a whole bunch of perks like behind the scenes, early access, raw videos. But the reason this turntable's in front of me is because that's mainly what we're gonna talk about today. All of the extreme collectibles that are gonna arrive to the extreme collection in the extreme month of June. Now as a reminder, these are things that are scheduled to arrive and with collectibles, 25 to 50% are never on time. So a few of these you may see on previous month's videos. However, I do have tracking on about half of these, so I'm very hopeful they will arrive in the month of June. And as always, I will do a detailed video on each of these pieces. So if you haven't, make sure to hit that like button on this video, the subscribe, and the bell notification so you get notified when any of those launch. But let's just kick it off, and I've grouped it into two different categories. The first is what we call customs. These are private unlicensed commissions. They're all sold out. I can't help you get any. And this is the minority of the group this month. The first one right here is one I've actually reviewed before. I've reviewed the prototype of this Ultimate Wolverine. The production piece is actually coming in, so I'm very excited about that. And I will bring a review to you guys to see if it matched the prototype quality. Second is kind of a goofy piece. It's Spider Ham. So I plan to put this either next to my Dr. Doom or with all my Spider-Man pieces at my office. Very excited to get this. I've had a few other pieces from this group and I absolutely love it. I do have tracking on my custom Sinestro. That's right, I said it right. Sinestro, so very excited. Gonna pair him off against hopefully XM Studios' T's Green Lantern. Now they haven't shown pictures of that yet, but lately I've been doing daily blogs on new releases and my thoughts on them. Those are actually on a website called theextremechannel.com. So make sure to check that out and subscribe to the newsletter because every week I send out a newsletter on collecting or extreme related topics. Another one was supposed to ship last month, so I'm hoping they get it out in May, is this Venomized Hulk. Very excited about this piece. There's another custom Venomized Hulk that actually came out, and I'm going to give you my thoughts both on that one and this one when I do the detailed review. Another one I'm not so sure of. You've seen this in previous videos, but there were some problems with the shipping, but I'm hoping it'll come. This custom Hulk. This was going to be one of the last ones in my collection. However, I freed up a spot because if you caught the video yesterday, we actually did a live auction and sold a bunch of stuff under market value. So now I have another Hulk spot on top of this one. These right here are supposed to ship as well. I'm just waiting on shipping prices. I actually have two of these coming in, one with a brown Wolverine, one with a yellow. Very excited for these dioramas. Again, they come from a fantastic custom group, and I will review both of them for you guys. This one, I don't have the tracking yet, but it was shipped by boat and I got notification that it did come and it's here in the States. 
So I can't wait to show this Magneto to you. This is probably the last Magneto I'm buying in the 1 4th scale, other than I do have XM Studios on order that I, that I picked up from Cosmic Chase Collectibles. So, so the last one that may or may not arrive is yesterday, if you saw the Robocop on my video, if not, go check that out. ARP actually replied to me after I filmed it. So I may pick up that Robocop. If so, it will come in in the month of June. Here's a picture of it right here. I actually haven't bought it yet. So that's a big, big maybe. So these next pieces are what we call licensed. So they're from companies like Prime One Studios. That's a lot of them, honestly. Sideshow Collectibles, Sume, Queen Studios. So let's jump in and just like last month, a ton of them are Berserk related. So I'm very hopeful some of these will come. They've already been released. I bought them through various retailers. So first one is Conrad. This little fat pudgy bastard is either cute or scary. I don't know, but when he comes in, he's gonna look fantastic with the Berserk collection. And I'm gonna put Void right next to him. Void has recently been released, so I'm very hopeful that he will come as well. Again, I bought it through a third-party retailer, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And I can say the same thing about Slon. I got this one through Sideshow Collectibles, so I'm very hopeful she's going to ship. I know there are some issues with it, but when she comes in, I will bring the review to you guys. And Sume Zod was supposed to hit the warehouse last month, so hopefully it did, and then I will be able to bring the review. All these I will bring to you from my office because that's where I'm displaying them. Mrs. X, I just got word this is supposed to ship, is going to do a review on Cinderella for you guys. Hopefully she's not watching this because she doesn't know about it, but this is continuing that Campbell line from Sideshow Collectibles, and to me, this is going to be the best one. She has the rest of them. Also, I just got word my Queen Studios is here in the States, so that will launch probably within the next week, so make sure to tune in for that. I've got some incredible video ideas. I've been waiting a long time, and then Infinity Studios won't come till later this year, but I'm going to do a comparison video when that happens. I have tracking on Prime One Studios City, Hunter, Predator. This is from Predator 2. I'm going to live dangerously, mount it to the wall. So hopefully you'll see what that looks like. As who knows, it may fall down. Another Predator that should arrive, I have the Fugitive Predator from Prime One Studios on order. Again, I bought through a third-party retailer, Comic Concepts. Generally takes a little bit longer, but I do get a better price, so I'm fine waiting. Can't wait. While I wasn't a huge fan of the movie, I was a huge fan of the character. And the same thing can be said. Their Assassin Predator is shipped is set to ship. I got this directly from Prime One Studios. Now I'm guessing that the shipping price will be outrageous, so I may have to change it to economy, but their date says it should ship very, very soon, so that's the hope. If not, another Predator I do have the tracking on, their Jungle Predator. Just like the Assassin Predator, I actually had to change it to economy shipping, but their economy shipping has been decently fast, so I do have the tracking for that. Hopefully, he'll get in the table in June, if not July for sure. Now this one says it's supposed to ship in Q3, but XM Studios released the unboxing video, which they typically do a week or two before it ships, but the XM Studios Samurai Robin is supposed to ship. I have seen this one in person, so I'm very excited. Hopefully we'll get it on this review table for you guys. I can't wait to see what he looks like next to the Nightwing I got last month. I also have tracking from Prime One Studios on their Cyborg Superman. I got the exclusive, and right after I bought the exclusive from them, my wait list converted with Sideshow. So unfortunately, I didn't pick up both, but I will review this for you. This is one I actually canceled and rebought, and I'll tell you why in the individual review. Also waiting on Prime One Studios Sentinel Prime, which is in stock, so I should get that from Comic Concepts, hopefully. Like I said, they usually ship it at boat, so I can save a few hundred dollars, which I appreciate, plus the retail price is a little bit cheaper. But this will come to the collection. He's going to look fantastic. I actually had to redo my entire Transformers display because I got some big ones coming. Not only him... But XM Studios Grimlock is set to release. They haven't made any announcements about it, but hopefully it comes. This will be one of the biggest Transformers that I have, so I think he's going to look fantastic, both with some of the Bayformers and some of the other XM pieces I have. Also with that, Evangelion is supposed to ship. Very excited for this piece. I just think it looks amazingly badass, despite the fact I'm not a huge fan of the anime. I've really tried to get into it. I'm like five or six episodes in, and every time I watch it, my mind kind of drifts off. Everyone tells me to hang in there. But maybe after I get the piece, I'll have kind of a renewed love for it. And the last piece, also a Transformer I have tracking on, their Red Drift. So hopefully this arrives in the month of June. It is economy shipping, so it might be the first part. Blah, 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 blah. It might be the first part of July. But honestly, guys, I bought this because the old one flips for so much. So I figured worst case scenario, I can make some money off of it, and it might be a badass statue. I buy it even if I don't like it. No, that's not true. Yeah, it is kind of. I need help. Anyway, that's what I got today. So it's kind of a video short and to the point. 
But now I wanna see what you have coming in the month of June. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be statue related. It could be any other type of collectible. It could be something cool like a car or an STD. But throw that in the comments below. This is why. We will be giving all of these statues away plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. So again, thanks guys so much. Please drop me a like on the way out. It really helps the channel. And if you aren't one of those people that have subscribed, about half of you haven't, go over that picture of me, hit the subscribe button. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Take care.